Hey there, everybody. This is Tapioks. I'm back with a new video about an exciting technology that's evolving right before our eyes, gaining popular attention, and that is artificial intelligence image synthesis. Particularly of note in the media as of late are the amazing Doll E2 engine from OpenAI. You may have also heard of Imogen from Google, our good friends at Google. So what these are, are text to image AI synthesis systems. And I'm no computer programmer. I'm not an expert about, <laughs> I'm not an expert about all things AI or anything AI really. I you know I have some background in graphics and modding video games as some of you may know, but this is all sort of new territory to me as I'm sure it is to most people out there. Uh, the notion that you can just type a description in sort of plain English of an image that you might not even have a visual idea of your own, what it should turn out to be. And these, these systems can produce really compelling, almost photorealistic or artistic interpretations of what you're looking for that at first glance you say you can't believe a human didn't make this. And then if you scrutinize these things and you look a little closer, often you'll see what's known as incoherence, where you know you ask for a picture of a chair and you get something that sort of looks like a chair, but maybe it's missing a leg or things don't quite connect the way they should. But you know, at first glance, it looks perfect. The latest generations of these technologies, the, the quality of the output, the uh, how convincing and nuanced and detailed and uh, well-conceived the, the images that they are able to produce, it absolutely blows my mind. Now these two big boys that I mentioned, Dolly 2 from OpenAI and Imogen from Google, are not yet available to the general public. There's a public waitlist you can join to gain access to Dolly 2. I'm not sure about Google's plans. On the other hand, there are a few of these systems that are available to the general public, free to use, that you can just experiment with today, just through your web browser. And the one that I've used the most and have the most experience with is one called Crayon, formerly known as Dolly Mini, or perhaps even better known as Dolly Mini. A very compelling little thing that you can play with and also produces some, some really compelling output, which we'll take a look at today. But then I've also used another AI technology, a thing called Topaz Gigapixel AI, to upscale these, to make these larger, generating new detail based on the AI's interpretation of what those underlying pixels might have represented, sometimes with really amazing and, and convincing results. Now, those of you who've been exposed to Dolly Mini and some of this output, Maybe most familiar with a lot of uh, memes, popular characters put into unusual scenarios at bowling alleys at Walmart. So today I, I will be taking a look at some of those types of things, but also seeing how far we can push this technology that is available to everyone and see what we can produce just by having a, a very carefully worded prompt, you know, to ask for the image in the right way. I will be providing you with the prompt I use to generate each image. So if you want to get a sense of how the AI responds to certain words, phrases, and concepts. It's going to do a little bit of show and tell with a little bit of commentary. Hope you like it. Uh, let me know what you think, but hey, let's go. Let's do it. Let's start off with some memes, just so we can get those out of our system. And leading off, we have Dark Souls in the style of Bob Ross. Here we can see a Dark Souls warrior type entering the scene. Perhaps not a very satisfying response to the prompt. We do get a nice and cursed Bob Ross right here in the middle. Next up, we have Fortnite dance in the style of Hideo Kojima, Annie Leibovitz photography. And you can really see the influence of the Annie Leibovitz portion of the prompt. Here we have Dr. Gordon Freeman and Walter White eating at McDonald's, daylight, brilliant advertising photography. I really love this one on the bottom right here where the Food seems to be just wedged right into his face. Now let's take a look at Dr. Fraser Crane eating a giant burrito, enormous pile of gold and riches in the background, again Annie Leibovitz photography. These are all utterly cursed images. And again here getting nice and intimate with the enormous burrito. And this is a detailed painting of Dr. Fraser Crane in the style of Frank Frazetta, a tremendous fantasy artist from years ago. These results are what I started with when creating the thumbnail image for this video. I did try to have Dolly Mini add the googly eyes to Fraser Crane for me, but none of those really turned out super successfully. But I do like the cartoony and suspicious looking Fraser here in the middle. 
And that's right, it's Morbin time. Here we have Morbius at Walmart, detailed advertising photograph. Look at him push that cart. <laughs> All right, here we go. Photorealistic Wario in real life, detailed portrait photography by Annie Leibovitz. This is just some cursed oil paintings, it looks like, of Wario. Classic Wario, but this top right image, oh my god. <laughs> Frightening, middle-aged Wario without his hat and garb. Now this image I did enlarge, so let's take a look at the enlarged version. All right, here you go. Enlarged by a factor of 600% in each dimension. And here we can even just zoom in. Uh, it doesn't look particularly realistic by any means, but there's a lot of detail that was inserted, contributing even more to that cursed aspect. And finally, here we have Big Chungus in Walmart, brilliant marketing photography. All right, next up, let's take a look at some critters. Let's see what kind of animals and creatures we can conjure. Here we have a stunning close-up photo of Pikachu wearing a blue cape, extremely detailed in daylight. I really like this center image from the top row. Again, not exactly photorealistic, but still an impressive amount of detail nonetheless. And I have a couple more upscaled examples from this same prompt, including this unfortunate fellow right here. Now let's take a look at a couple bird images. Since the AI has likely been trained on very many bird images, it is actually able to reproduce rather coherent images of birds. And how about some skateboarding bunnies? The board behind the bunny here doesn't quite connect the way it should. We do get a pretty good amount of detail on what I would argue is a rather cute little bunny here. And here we have another little floofy bunny, this time captured through a fisheye lens. And here we have a bunny catching some massive air. The image isn't quite coherent, but I thought this one has some charm as well. And finally for critters, we have an intricate futuristic steampunk anglerfish, high octane render. All right, next we're gonna take a look at some fantastical gaming technology. For example, here we have a futuristic post-apocalyptic steampunk video game console. But I do find some of these to be rather charming, like this one in the top right here. Granted, it still doesn't look like an actual video game console, but it does look like a cool piece of imaginary retro-futuristic technology. I also really like what appears to be a sort of cartoony face built into the item. Sort of a cyclops eye in the middle, and a couple of large two front teeth here. For me, it's hard not to see a face in this presentation. And next we have a detailed 3D rendering of a quantum computing video game console. I've enlarged this version here, which tends to remind me of the Deacons of the Deep boss arena from Dark Souls 3 for some reason. And this image, while somewhat smudgy, does have a nice aesthetic to it. All right, and next up we have a steampunk Mac Pro gaming computer. Some cool results here. This guy in the top right is pretty neat looking. Also down here on the bottom left. Here's the original low resolution output. And here is the upscaled output. This one reminds me much of the Pip-Boy aesthetic from the Fallout video game series. And now let's take a look at a few examples from the prompt Minimalist Steampunk VR Headset. The output here is still a bit smeary, if you will. But these images do seem to represent some pretty compelling product designs. All right, folks. I have plenty more AI-generated and upscaled image goodness to share with you, but we'll save some of that for a future video. Or you can check out my last two videos on this channel, where we explore some amazing shoe and helmet concepts. In the future, I also hope to cover Google's other AI synthesis engine, known as Party which seems like it might even be able to outclass Dolly 2 in its image output. For now, I'll leave you with a few more of my favorite images. Wish you all a wonderful morning, day, or evening, and hope to see you again next time.